Hello everybody, boys, girls, lords, ladies, gentlemen, and all that jazz. It's Nick Dutch back on the camera again one more time. Hi there, how the heck is it going? It's great to see all you people out there. Obviously I can't see you, I'm just looking at an image of my own face on my camera, but never mind, that was just an expression, just... Whatever. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm going to respond to another private message that's been sent through, and I'm just going to go into that, you know, bit by bit and so on and so forth. And discuss it. And it's about um, the subject of astral projection, so I hope that it's going to be enlightening to everybody out there. But before I do that, just a few quick announcements. I'm setting up another uh, channel here on YouTube uh, for the purposes of helping me to go completely off-grid and self-sufficient, which has been my personal goal and dream since I was a child. Uh, and I've set up another channel which is called Get Me Off Grid. And I've left a link in the information box for you to have a look at that. Now, yes, it is there for me to do something which some people might even regard as being e-begging, which I don't regard as being e-begging, because what I'm trying to do is to accumulate money for a particular project. And that's why I'm going through a website, which is called GoFundMe. Okay, and I've set up an account for that, and all the money that goes into that will be going primarily towards that particular project. So essentially, have a quick look at the GoFundMe page, have a quick look at that other YouTube channel, see the introductory video, and basically just try and get some kind of like vibe for where I'm coming from there. And um, basically the kind of future I want for myself, and why I think it is important for other people as well. Anyway, uh, on with the video. Uh, sorry. On with the private message. Well, actually, still on with the video anyway, because I'm still doing a video, but never mind, here it goes. It says here, Nick, I've been watching your videos on astral projection and meditation techniques. Uh, a few days ago, I was trying to astral project and trying to focus on one place in my mind, but then I started to doze off, I suppose, because at one point I got distracted and it felt, uh, I, it felt like I fell asleep for a minute and then the strangest thing happened. I would, of course, point out I hadn't actually read through this yet, okay, so I'm reading through this for the first time with you guys. I suddenly got my attention back, and at that moment I thought, wow, I messed up, or I got spaced out, and right when I thought that, I started feeling intense vibrations. It just happened all at once. Okay, I'm going to stop there, um, because sometimes the moment when... The desire is there subconsciously to try and make the astral projection happen. It happens more easily than when you try and force it. So you can try and build up the willpower during the day, and then you've got to somehow let go of the desire of the, of the astral projection at night uh, to allow it to occur. So that's maybe possibly what's going on there. I don't actually know because I obviously wasn't in your body and in your mind at the time, but that's just a suggestion. I'll read on here. <coughs> Like one moment I'm sleeping, then I wake up, then right away, bam, one of the strongest vibrations I've felt in my life, and my very first reaction was just to stay relaxed and just float up with it and let it happen. Good. That's what I think you're meant to do, because you just relax and enjoy the exhilaration of the floating experience, which I think is a um, gamma ray, uh, gamma radiation, sorry, gamma frequency state of mind. That's what I think it is anyway. It's very fast, faster than beta anyway, and it's like um, the rest of the mind is tranquil and you've just got these higher frequency vibrations going on inside the head. It's pretty amazing. And the vibrations literally felt like they were pushing my spirits up without me trying to actually move. Yeah, that's very similar to the way it feels. You know, you feel like you're being taken away and your whole body is like limp. Then I started floating up slowly and the vibrations were just... Wow, incredibly strong, and I recalled seeing some kind of light, nothing specific, just a vague blue spiral type thing above my body. You could have been seeing your astral body from your, from your physical eyes. You could actually be seeing your own astral from your physical. That's a possibility. But I was closing my eyes and could see myself floating, and then once I fully left my body, the vibration stopped, and I just started floating so gently in the air. It felt like I was in space, but even lighter than the space. Yes, that's that's a very good description of some of the sensations that you get. You, you know, you feel like you're made of air, of not just air, but something else. Then I turned over and I saw my bed and floated to the ground. By the by the way, I was so calm throughout the whole thing because I felt so smooth and good that it, I wasn't scared. But anyway. 
After floating off the bed, I tried to check out the mechanics of my spirit body. So I went next to a wall and kind of pushed myself off it and started kind of floating backwards. Okay, now, that sounds like um, something I've experienced as well in one of my own astral projection experiences. I tried to push myself through a wall and it was a bit like my astral body was made of steam and the wall was like some kind of very fine gauze that's like you know hiss my steamy body through the wall itself but I couldn't make it on one particular occasion and the um, the sensation of trying to go through the wall was so extreme that it made my astral go straight back to my physical and the way it happened is um, I went from upright to floating and horizontal and I floated my way on the path back to the body and then BAM straight back into the body that's what it felt like it was crazy anyway the message goes on <clears throat> I want to give you an example of how the feeling is for me when I'm floating and I can recall this feeling happening several times when I was a child. It feels like you're swimming in water and you're trying to float up. So what you have to do is to float in water is to kick, right? But when you kick the water, you don't really feel like your feet are landing on a surface and pushing you up. You kind of just feel like you're propelling yourself up that way. This is how it feels sometimes for me when when I believe I am astral projecting. Yeah, with me, it's, it, it's kind of like something similar, but the work is done in the mind, it's not done with the body. When I try and use my body, it's difficult, but when I try and focus on the idea, it's difficult to describe, it's focusing on the idea of floating upwards and everything else being calm, then I can float upwards. It's like um, using your mind to push yourself places. It's weird. The message goes on. Either that or gentle floats and it keeps moving most of the time and you point in a, this is it, you point in a certain direction or push gently in a certain direction and it moves you slowly there. That's it. It seems to happen almost automatically. It does. It seems to happen almost automatically. But you still got to keep your attention on what, you know, what you're trying to do, but, but not in a stressed manner, not straining, not straining, no. Because when, whenever you do that, you put strain on yourself, then you're not relaxed enough. You kind of like raising your, you know, changing your brainwave frequency yet again, which is more akin to the state of mind you need when you're awake, and that's more likely to bring about um, bringing your astral body back into your physical body. Because it's difficult. So it goes on. So my request from you is to just give an opinion about those things, just whatever you feel like saying about it. Have you had any of these feelings? Yeah, uh, I think I've described some of them to you. You, you seem to be onto something there. It looks like you're describing the experience very well. The question goes on. Was my experience really astral projection? Okay, this is where it gets difficult. Uh, from both my own personal experience as well as the writings of Sylvan Muldoon and Harewood Carrington in the book, The Projection of the Astral Body. Uh, sometimes you can have an astral projection that feels like an astral projection, but you're dreaming. It's like your astral is leaving your physical, but it's sleepwalking or sleep floats, it's floating or sleep flying around whilst your physical body is asleep. But you'll still have some of the same, sen same sensations that you would have if you were doing a full, total outer body exteriorization if you get the drift. Okay, that's the, that's the way it is. So yes, it could be a full astral exteriorization. Um, it's, dif it's difficult to describe and trying to get it to the point whereby you have a fully conscious one. Um, and trying to keep that going is is it, it requires practice and it, it is it is difficult. There's no all these people who go out they say oh I can just do it I can just do it I can just do it. But I'd have to say no you can't no you can't no you can't because it depends upon so many different factors and it's great fun when it happens I love it. You know I I I just had an experience relatively recently and I just wanted to manifest myself in the kitchen and. In the dead of the night, I actually thought, well, wait a second, I, I was in bed a minute ago, and now here I am wearing my dressing gown, um, leaning up against my work surface, and boom, the moment I thought that, boom, I was back in the body with that sort of like floating through the air and like a whistling of wind past your sensation that you get when your astral body is moving really quickly, and it's amazing sensation, it's beautiful. And so, yeah, it's, it, it could well be, you know, a, a genuine exteriorization. I think you're doing quite well there. Uh, do my sensations of floating relate to yours in any way? Basically, yes. Yes, they do. And I think that you're, you're very close or you're on it or you've done it. So, um, Omar, yeah, this video is for you. I think you're getting there. I really think you're going for a full astral exteriorization and you're going to have some pretty amazing experiences. Carry on doing what you're doing. It's a fascinating subject and it's a fascinating thing to experience. So, go for it.